we can go over here and grab the club <laughs> key. What happens if you don't examine the key? Will it just... It's just... If you know what you're doing, then it works. I just do it because I like having that said. So it's in the shape of a club. But it, it's not like it won't work on the doors. Oh, oh it's okay. It's fine. Let's cut it. Let's cut No obligatory. You didn't check this, therefore. I don't yeah, know so what like to new do. players, they, they probably just leave them as precinct keys. And that's fine. You could do that. I did that. And it was fine. Oh, good. We didn't have to escape anything. Yet. Well, I just remember with Sherry, we always had to run to the elevator. Yep, well, she was unarmed. Yeah. Oh, good. Shotgun shells. Okay. At least some kind of ammo. Well, geez, it seems like if Sherry had to dodge everything around, why does she get all the zombies and you're, like, armed and you Because don't little girl in danger. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. It's like... It's a horror movie. Like, all these games are pretty much a horror movie, and the little the little kid has to be in danger and has to be saved. Granted, the woman also has to be a damsel in distress, but <laughs> this is not that kind of case. Let's hear the Scream series. Well, remember that there are some exclusions in the horror genre, especially if a character is a femme fatale-esque kind of character. Which, spoiler alert, Leon, can you hear me? that's Ada. Yeah, I kind of got that feeling. Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Think fast. Here's one more. Boop. Ow! <laughs> you hit me in the balls! I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. What? Ada, wait! <laughs> oh, Leon. Leon, come in. I found the girl, and I cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Got it. Okay, so this is basically kind of telling you, yep, this is what you can use this for. Okay, so club key... And shotgun shells. We'll take those. Now we know where that door leads, and this is to the save room. And actually, you know what? Let's let's just play safe here, just in case crap hits the fan. And it's Resident Evil. It's entirely possible. So you said, Alex, that you kind of expected she was a femme, femme fatale yeah. kind of character. Yeah, I, I'm not, I don't think that's spoiling anything at this point. She is because she's very much broadcasting it at this point. She is a femme fatale-esque character. She's meant to be a tad mysterious. Here we go. Okay, so now that we have this, let's go ahead and put the ink ribbons back. Oh, no, not the shotgun shells. We want those. Let's get out of here. Back into the spider area, Alex. Well, we killed him. Spider zombies, spider zombies. There we go. I couldn't remember if they respawn or not. Because as Andrea kind of mentioned, the dogs for Sherry would respawn. Mainly because you can't kill him. <laughs> Those aren't dogs. They're the... If they're responding, they ain't do they ain't dogs. They're the minions of Zool. Zool, motherfucker. I'd rather Gozer, I guess, because one of them yes. would be Zool. And then Vince Clortho. Yeah. Motherfucker. Ah, it works better with Zool. Because <laughs> there's the Zool building. <laughs> Zool. Oh. Oh no. I think there's something in here. Oh boy. 
people are just dogs. Uh, what do I have equipped? Okay, yeah, that's probably the best solution. Yep, dogs. Yep. Hey, it hit him from way off! That worked! Yep! Shotgun, that's why I love you. Okay. You know, I could really go for a coffee right now. Anybody else need a coffee? Oh wait, I'm alone. Okay, so now that we're back in this room, remember there was a club door down here. Oh, jeez, okay, all right. Pop. I think this was the one. Off with his head. Literally. As in, there's no more pieces left. Oh, no, this was the other puzzle. No, that's right. We have to go to the uh, autopsy room. That's the club door. Oh, there's a zombie. Here, zombie, zombie, zombie. Well, that was underwhelming, wasn't it? Not really. It was cool. Oh, and get ready for what's inside. I meant for him. You know, all of a sudden, just nothing. I don't know if the same scare happens here. Oh, uh, yep. Nope, it's liquors instead. There Ow. should be another oh, one. Oh, yeah, he cautioned me. Okay. There should be another oh. one. Ugh. Shit. Ugh. Oh, crap. Ugh. Oh, geez. shit. Oh, he could have impaled us. Wow, okay. Well, I'm glad I took him out then. We were on the highway to the danger zone there. Yeah, a little bit, yes. Uh, here we go. And now we have the red card key, which is what we needed from the start. And there's my card key. So now we can go into the arms room. Now, somebody was actually pointing out that these actually might not be regular liquors. Uh, they might be the super liquors that were in the facility. Super liquors. I don't think they are. I Because th they seem to be a little bit more pink than the other ones. They're like straight black. Oh, uh, we need to use this first. Yeah, I think the super liquors are actually supposed to be, like, black and gray. Oh, let me look. But it's entirely possible because, again, this is supposed to be further on in the game, and therefore the difficulty needs to spike. Uh, will you take the magnum bullets? Yes, we will. Okay, so we have this. Will you take the handgun bullets? Yes, we will. Uh, more handgun bullets. We will take those. And this is the point of contention that I was referring to, Alex. There's a submachine gun. Oh, yeah. Remember? But now, item cap rage. We can't carry it. Uh, so first things first. Combine everything just to make it all work. And I know I probably shouldn't do this, but just... We're gonna use the herb. Because I'm going to be basically... I have a feeling you're going to need two slots. Uh, yeah, we need two item slots. Uh, you're right. I okay. Had to get so we got to come back for it. No. It's either that or I just use up two shotgun shells right now. No. Nope. There's no point of doing that. You need every bullet you can have. Pretty much. Okay, so... Uh, I can go back to the parking garage. I'm going to go back into the facility, or er, the RCPD. Yeah, it looks like evolved liquors are kind of more blackish. So they could be super liquors because of, of the difficulty required right now. Let's see. Then there's liquor beta. Oh, this will this will solve our problem. Here, doggy, doggy, doggy. Well, He's, did he still get a hit? Apparently. Oh, that sucks! I beat him! Okay, manhole lid is open. A ladder leads down. Will you go down? Yeah. Yes. 
Well, since you used those two bullets, you could have combined it. Yep. I'm trying to remember where this goes, though. We might have just landed ourselves in another bit of hot water. Now we can go get that submachine gun. Is this a save room? I don't know. This is a save room. Okay, good to know. So let's go ahead and use this. Maybe we could put the small key away for now. Well, first of all, we're going to put away the magnum bullets. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and put that away. Because I'm pretty sure once we'll figure out where that key will go. Okay. Grab a first aid spray and the ink ribbons. Because we're going to be bouncing back to get the submachine gun. We're going to need that later. But the downside is, people, and, and this is what kind of frustrated Alex before. Remember, there was something else with the submachine gun. It was inventory. Right. Um, which the storage pack went to Claire. So we don't get access to that. But, well, we kind of need the submachine gun more for Leon. As you kind of pointed out, we're, we're dealing with evolved liquors. We're dealing with more dogs, more zombies, more everything. It's not helpful. There we go, up the ladder. Hopefully the dogs don't repop. Nope, no repopping dogs, that's good. Do I have enough? Yes, I do. We'll grab this too. Grab the red herb, or a green herb later. And actually, that's another combination you could do, red, blue, and green. So you get the poison removal, you get the increased um, health, or the boosted health, and so that's a little bit health, uh, more helpful. Um, oh, apparently liquors are blind creatures that can't see the player, as long as the player doesn't make any noise by running or firing weapons. Yep. Or doesn't touch the liquor. The creature won't attack them. Although not always recommended, the tactic... But tactic. you'll notice that the game designers mm -hmm. will literally put you in rooms where you have to make noise yeah. and liquors are in them. Yeah. Because they're like, heh 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 But a tactic is to walk as close as possible, then try to run past. If it's not possible to avoid them, recommended weapon to kill the liquors are grenade launchers loaded with grenade rounds or acid rounds. Flame rounds won't knock them. Shotgun yeah. or magnum. If Leon is low on shotgun shells, make sure to aim downward. Only recommended for normal ones since it can instantly kill them. Okay. Yeah, because liquors are basically the hunters of this game. So pretty much anything that would have worked on a hunter works on a liquor. The only difference is, is that depending on the weapon, you do have to aim down at them. And that's a little bit of a frustration. Now, the other downside is, and I should probably point this out now, you remember that zapper gun we got for Claire? Yes. I think because we have the submachine gun, we don't get access to that. Oh, boomer. So that's that's kind of the sad reality here. But, I mean, it's a submachine gun. So can you really complain? Not Hopefully really. Not. It's it's still going to be a powerful a powerful weapon. Uh, let's see. Oh, dude, we have double the red herbs right now. Uh, let's go ahead and go with that. And I shouldn't, but I'm going to go ahead and save again. It's because we have been having some issues. Especially with, Im uh, not with inventory, but with ammo. Okay, so save it again. Now, one thing I want to address right here and now, because one of our listeners did ask this, um, will we be playing Resident Evil 2 Remake at launch? I don't think so. I'm but not that, like for for Dragon Shadow. I'm not sure. But we, that doesn't mean we'll get to it eventually. Yeah, I, I will be reviewing it. So don't worry too much about that. But um, depending on where we're at with everything else, that that will depend that will determine whether or not we um, take on. Resident Evil 2 Remake when it launches. Also, it depends on if, if that's what Alex wants to do. It's too small for an adult to enter because this is where Sherry came out. I don't know. What do you think about that, Alex? I'm up for it. 
As long as, I mean, if all we've got is this completed, so. But maybe at that point, maybe I'll change things around a tad just to show you guys the first remake, just to see, so you guys can see how drastic a change happened with the two games. So like where Resident Evil 1 was very comical because of its craptastic dialogue and it was very hammy because it was trying to be like a B movie, how they basically tried to take Resident Evil 1 and put it in canon. Yeah. Let's see the remake, it's really good. Yeah, I was gonna say, you probably watched the Game Grumps version, right? Uh, I didn't know the Grumps played it, but I I watched Gerard play it. Oh yeah, because he, he did a review for it. Oh crap, I cannot aim. Ah, uh, uh, I can't see! Oh, I did not want to waste a shell, but... Well... Well, you gotta... Oh, crap, I'm unequipped. I yeah. unequipped. That's not good. <laughs> Let's just fight with our bare fists. Ah, damn it! It's twice Did now. Did you put off oh, for a minute? I thought you pushed him down the stairs or something. Like, that'd be funny. That would be funny, wouldn't it? I was really hoping to get them both. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's open this up. Club key! What does this give me? Oh, yes. So... It's a break room. The break room. And it looks really nice in the break room. Oh, great. Dead guy. Except for him. I'm sure he's having a great break. Magnum bullets. <laughs> we'll take those. Magnum uh, P.I. And bullets. then also he does have... You do have the Watchman's Diary, which we've already read. Yeah, I hate to tell you guys this, but the, the lore doesn't change between characters. So, like, if you're expecting the itchy, tasty journal to be different for Jill compared to Chris, it isn't. Itchy, tasty. Itchy, tasty. I'm surprised we still have the film. Yeah, yeah we still have ink ribbons. I did not think that through. <laughs> All right, so what's left in here? What is still alive? Wow, did I kill everything? Yeah. All in did. one shot. That's actually pretty awesome, shotgun. Thank you. Man, you gotta re... Capcom, you gotta rebalance the shotgun in Resident Evil 2. It's OP. Okay, so well, now that we're a back... Shotgun. It's kind of designed for that. It really is. And I'm not complaining. I mean, I'll, I'll play with the OP weapon all I want, but, you know, I need the ammo for it. Okay, so we need the final club door. And that's probably gonna give us our queen plug. I'm sorry, our knight plug. Because we have king, rook, and bishop. We don't have the knight yet. Can't remember, for Leon, is there a box up here? There is not, okay. Well, there's a box over here, so I'm okay with Instant. that. Do, 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 do. I cannot remember where that last club door is. Okay. First of all, let's move the magnum bullets over. And move the first aid, or the ink ribbons back over. And I might swap if I can't find some shells, I might swap out the shotgun for the submachine gun. I don't want to, but I might have to. Either that or sub it out for the magnum. Oh, hi. Yay, this oh jeez, okay. Smoosh your head. That works. Yay, they're dead. Press the button. Can't be activated because it's, ah, cord is cut. Okay. Uh, what's this it? Nope, we can go in here. 
respawning zombies. This isn't good. Uh, records department? No. Actually, Alex, see if you can locate a map that, that tells the keys. Sorry. Wait. Yeah, I'm just gonna get you back. Yeah. There we go. I don't, I'm not sure. Last time I checked Game Facts, they don't have one that say, like, this is a club door and this is a diamond door. Oh, look. Oh, hi. On break? I can understand that, buddy. 